Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to Mad Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team a chance. If you haven't watched, here is the bracket thus far. So today, we got the Patriots taking on the Buffalo Bills. The winner moves on and the loser goes home. We're at a neutral stadium in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments below, like the video, and subscribe for more. So without further ado, we're going to get started. And Patriots are going to receive the ball first, which means the Bills will get the ball first at half. Which will throw the Patriots off a little bit because usually they like to get the ball to start the second half so they can score at the end of the first half and double up and score on the sec end of the second half with a little one-two punch. So the Patriots will have to come out and see if they can get a 7-0 lead to start off. And out comes Tom Brady. Fresh off the Super Bowl loss, but you can't completely knock him for it. It was a record-setting offense. the highest yardage total in NFL history in a single game. Not just postseason, not just regular season, but any game ever. So we'll see if we can keep that momentum going as they break huddle. And we're going to get the first play of the game. Brady hands it to Deion Lewis, who gets a gain of about one. And here's the Patriots offensive line. Deion Lewis, Burkhead, Cooks, and Hogan. And obviously Gronkowski. Four receivers for the Patriots. Brady. Throws deep downfield. He's got his man, Gronkowski, to the house. Almost to the house. Takes it all the way down to the two-yard line. So with that, Brady's one for one for 72 yards, and Gronk's also got 72. So they're coming out strong. Brady to Gronk, we've seen that a ton over the past decade to a half decade or so. Coming out of the running formation. Bills are expecting the run. Oh, and he gets swallowed up. Loss of four. Back to the six yard line, and now it's second and goal. Second and long. Let's see if they pass. Or if they stick with the run after he gets walled by three Bills defenders. And I bet Gronk is now thinking that he wishes. Now wishing he got into the end zone on that deep bomb. Coming out in another running formation. Brady hands it to Lewis, and he's going to lose one more yard. Third and goal. And the Patriots have just gone backwards on this set of downs. What a hit. Now the Patriots will probably throw on this down. Three receivers. Brady. And he's sacked. Taken down, and that's a loss of seven. So 
So they get down to the two, and then they lose 12 yards over the next three plays. Good job by the Bills not panicking and pressing their pressure up the gut. He was hit on his backside. Good for him not to fumble that football away. About halfway through the first. As we get the first field goal attempt of the game. Goskowski kicks it. And it's good. 3-0. Patriots score first in this one. The Bills defense gave up that big play, but they should be pretty pleased with how they play after that. And the Bills will get the ball to see if they can answer. Goskowski to kick it away. Deep in the end zone. Tate's going to take the knee, and they're going to march it out to the 25, as that was a touchback. Out comes Tyrod Taylor, and he almost made it through his first preseason or postseason game, but he got injured against the Jaguars. The Bills ultimately lost that game. But only scoring three points. Hopefully they can score more in this one. Taylor almost makes the Patriots jump. It's a play action fake on first down. Taylor's rolling to his right, throws deep downfield, and he's got his man. 40 yards. Out to the 35. And so the Patriots have a big play and the Bills have a big one of their own. He throws that into triple coverage. What a catch. Nine times out of ten, that's intercepted or at least batted down. But that time it's a catch. What an exciting play to start this game for the Bills. Let's see if they stay aggressive. Hands it to McCoy. And he's only going to get one yard. So we're going to have a second and nine now. And here's the Bills offense. There's their line, Richie Incognito and company. McCoy, Benjamin. And people really knock Tyrod Taylor, but he doesn't turn the ball over. That's his main asset. He doesn't score a ton of touchdowns, but he doesn't turn the ball over either. Taylor's going to hand it to McCoy, and he's got space. And he's got the first down, it appears. Third and in inches, though. They will say he, he didn't get there. Which, if I'm Buffalo, I'm taking a close look at that. Let's take a look. You know, I think he got there. McCoy gets the ball and he runs it up. He got the first down and more, gain of seven on the play. And that's just simple power football. Good blocking by the offensive line. And that's what I like. You don't need to do anything fancy. It's just 30 inches. Just pound the ball.
Taylor and company is going to come out with a balanced formation. Tyrod's going to throw. Just misses the slant. Too long. He was open. So we'll see how they respond when they find themselves behind the chains. Balance formation for Tyrod. Hands it to Mike Tolbert, who doesn't get anything. So we're gonna have a third and ten. The Bills were able to convert their last third third down. But it was about 10 yards better than this, so we'll see if they can overcome the odds. Punch formation to the right. Tyrod's in the backfield by himself, and they won't get the snap off. That's going to do it for the first quarter. Patriots with the lead early in this one. 3-0. third and long here. Buffalo converted their last third down, but it was a third in inches. Let's see if they can overcome this 10 yards. They're going to break huddle. Two receivers to the left. Taylor's going to throw, rolling to his right, throws, and he missed his target. So after that huge completion, now it's two incompletions. And Taylor's excited about something. Not really sure what. Maybe the fact that they're going to be able to tie the game. Hauschka. And the kick is good. So we got a tied ball game at the start of the second quarter. New England's going to get the ball back and see if they can get another lead in this one. Kicks away. Deion Lewis is going to run it out about five yards deep in his end zone. And he's going to take it out just past the 25. Mark him at the 27. And out comes the Patriots offense getting ready to get to work. They've only had one drive so far, but it was good for a field goal. They'll see if they can do better on this one. Patriots are going to come out in a balanced set. Four receivers. Brady. And incomplete. He's trying to hit his tight end Gronkowski, it looks like. But the ball was too low and to the left. Second and ten coming up. Brady under center, and he calls him off sides. So they're going to have a second and five. I'm sure the defense, after getting Brady, a sack on Brady last time, wanted another one. 
Just a little bit too eager though. Looks like they're sending some extra pressure and another offsides. Brady gets them again. And that's going to result in a first down. Wow. The Bills just gave, pretty much gave up on that set of downs. Now, if I'm Brady, or if I'm Belichick, I'm going to run right at them because they're going to be backing off a little bit, trying not to preempt the snap after jumping off sides twice. Brady is going to throw. Hits Gronk, and he's got five yards. Going to have another second and five. Four receivers once again, balanced formation. Brady catches the snap, he's gonna throw, he's got Cooks, and Cooks completes the catch, but he slipped down just in front of the yard markers. So it's gonna be a third and one. This will be their second attempt at a third down conversion. Their last attempt coming from, I wanna say like, it was third and goal. Over 10 yards to go. And they're sending pressure. Lewis, he's got the first and a few more yards out to the 49. So now the Patriots are one for two. 50% on the day. Clock is moving as we set up for this first and ten. Brady's going to line up under center, running formation for the Patriots. Brady fakes the handoff, and he's got some time. Doesn't get away, though. Sacked. Milano. Now, I was watching Milano, and I saw him get knocked on his face but he gets up and gets the sack so that's a lesson kids always keep moving you never know what's gonna happen right there number 60 <clears throat> just gave up on him for some reason it's the lapse of judgment I guess or he lost track of where Brady was Either way, it's a second and 20 now for this offense. Running formation for Brady. Hands it to Rex Burkhead. He powers forward for his first rush of the day. It's a seven-yard gainer. Third and 13 coming up. So this will be their third attempt. They're one for two so far, 50%. And the Bills seem to be rushing four, expecting pass. Brady, under pressure, hits Allen, but it's not enough for the first down. It's only going to give him about seven yards, so it's fourth and six. And Patriots are probably going to punt here. And the Bills will have a chance to take the lead. So now the Patriots are only 33% on third down. And their one conversion was on a third and short. 
Here comes the punt. Allen kicks it away out of bounds. Trying to keep it away from him. Decent punt out to the 21. Just one yard worse than if it was... Actually, that that's a mistake. He made a mistake. Because he was punting from the 47. He should... A perfect punt would get him <laughs> stuck inside the 1, but... Honestly, anything on the other side of the 20 is success, and anything on the other side of the 20 is failure, so... Taylor under center, hands it to McCoy, and McCoy's got a three-yard gain out to the 24. Second and eight coming up, and they have a choice here. They can either choose to run a play or just let it come down, let the clock run down to the two-minute warning. Let's see what they do here, and they're going to let it run. So two minutes left in the second quarter. Scores 3-3. Bills have the ball. We'll be back. All right. Patriots and Bills have exchanged field goals, but Bills have the ball and can take the lead before the second start of the second half. And as a reminder, they do get the ball at the start of the second half, so they can double up here. It can be 17-3 before anyone sees the ball again. If Bills play their cards right. Taylor's going to throw here, second and eight. And he hits Thompson. He's got a first and some more. 14-yard gain out to the 38. And clock is running. Good job by Taylor just hitting his check down and getting what he can. You don't want to force something on this side of the field and end up turn the ball over so alright 20 seconds left on the play clock he could run or pass here McCoy's going in motion and Taylor's alone in the backfield now Taylor takes the snap hits Benjamin over the middle and he's got another first down fights forward to the 46 yard line and they're gonna hurry back to the line for another play Taylor scrambles and gain of only oh it's a loss of one on the play Taylor's gonna hurry back and try and get another playoff now now they're behind the chains Taylor he's gonna scramble up left and right and he's got a catch one completion it's a first down Buffalo's gonna hurry and take the timeout and we'll be back. All right, that was Calvin Benjamin with the catch. And we'll see what the Bills will do here. They got decent they have a decent field goal shot from here, but with 48 seconds left on the clock, you have plenty of time to punch the ball in the end zone, especially with two timeouts. See what they do here. Taylor gonna throw, rolls to his right, cuts up the field. He's got some he's got a first down and slides down after a 14 yard pickup. And they're gonna take a timeout real quick to stop the clock. Bills only have one timeout left now, and now this is when clock management really becomes an issue. You can throw the ball all over the field, but you now you have a choice. You have to either choose to spike the ball or take the timeout, and if you take the timeout, then your chances of 
having the clock run out increase dramatically. Especially if Tyrod gets sacked. And they break huddle. Tyrod's alone in the backfield. Five receivers. Taylor rolls, hits Clay for a short gain, and he runs out of bounds. It's a gain of only two, but it does stop the clock and lets them take the time to figure out their next play. Four receivers, Taylor's taking the snap, under center. Taylor steps back, surveys, throws, he hits Jones, and Jones has a touchdown. Touchdown, Bills. That's his first touchdown for Tyrod, and the first touchdown for Jones. And the Bills have to be pretty pleased with their performance there. Yeah. Here comes the extra point from Hauschka. And the Bills are up by a touchdown now. Scores 10 to 3. Let's see if the Patriots can rally. And with three timeouts, the Patriots are probably going to see if they can get three. Hauschka getting ready to kick it off. Kicks away. And Lewis is going to run out of the end zone. And he's dropped at the 20 yard line. So bad decision there. Net loss of five on the run. And out come the Patriots offense. Trying to see if they can, obviously they want to tie this game, but more realistically, they probably want to see if they can get a field goal here before half. Because Buffalo will get the ball to start the second half. Brady taking the snap from under center. He hands it to Lewis, and Lewis has a four yard gain. And we'll see if they elect to do something more or if they're content to just leave it as a one possession game. And it looks like they're going to let it run down. That's going to do it for the first half. Patriots are down 3-10. to And we're going to skip halftime. And the Bills will get the ball. See if they can double up here and lead by two possessions. Kicks away. Thompson's going to take the knee and the free 25.
And out come the Bills. First play of the first or of the second half coming up. Taylor and he hits Thompson, gain of about three. Second and seven coming up, and good job by Thompson to selling up for that ball, even though it was only for a couple yard gain. Just a simple one cut route one of those two steps and then cut routes three receivers Taylor's gonna be under center Taylor steps back seven step drop steps up in the pocket throws right to Thompson again this time it's only a one yard gain and third and six coming up The Bills are one for two. They're trying to make it two for three. And, oh, we have another guy wide open upfield, number 85. At least that's what it appeared from that angle. All right. Taylor steps up in the pocket and he's scrambling. He jukes the defender. Taylor's wide. Tyrod Taylor, 20, 10. Touchdown. Tyrod Taylor. That was like a Russell Wilson play. You don't see that out of Tyrod every time. And now the Buffalo's got a commanding 17 to three lead at five, five, under five and a half minutes in the second half or in the third quarter. What a run. And then he jukes the defender, slips the tackle, slips one more. Bang. Slip. Cut. And he's jubilant as ever. <laughs> And for the extra point, Hauschka is good. So that was a quick little drive. And Brady's got to rally his troops again. Seems like every time you turn on the television, the Patriots are down three to some, some high score. is back to return the punt. And ball sails out of the end zone. Touchback. Out comes Brady to lead his group. Trying to get a touchdown here and make it a one possession game again. And goes without saying, I don't think Brady's going to be doing it with his legs. He's going to have to find some open receivers downfield. Brady under center. Takes the handoff. He's going to throw surveys. He's got all day. Brady, all day. And he hits Hogan, and ball's fumbled. Milano gets the pickup, so now it's the Bills' ball, up 17, or up by 14. 
and they're on the edge of field goal range just like that and it can't get any worse for the Patriots what a deflator you get a big play obviously a catch and a fumble Milano with, he's got a sack in this one as well see if the Bills can capitalize. Coming out in a running formation. They're going to hand it right to McCoy, who's got maybe one yard on the pickup. Second and nine coming up. And the third quarter has been all Bills. Ever since the last two minutes of the second quarter, it's been all Bills. Buffalo has nearly doubled New England's yards. Taylor dumps it to McCoy, who's going to get decked for a loss of two. Third and 12 coming up, and that's what the Patriots really needed after that quick, t quick turnover. That's a good form tackle. Let's see if the Bills can convert here. Taylor. And was that a catch? They're going to say it's a catch. I want to see another look at that. And Jones is having a big day. Three receptions for 81 if this stands. I can't really tell with that. Okay, here we go. I think he's out of bounds. I think he's out of bounds. I'll be very surprised if this isn't looked at. have until this snap has happened and they're gonna let this play go wow that's controversial and the ball's out ball's out and Tyrod fumbles it right back Stefan Gilmore wow yeah, falls out. Maybe it's karma. <laughs> they get a free play like that without even a look at that previous catch. And then they fumble the ball. Now come the Patriots. Four receivers. Brady hands it to Lewis, misdirection. Spins around the defender, and Lewis has even more yards as he dodges one more. That's a big gainer on first down. And New England is now driving. Just poor tackling by the Bills there. Hey. 
Lewis is running, and he's got some room as well. Tries to spin again, but doesn't dodge the defender this time. He's taken down after a game of nine. Second and one coming up. It's just a simple halfback base. And it can be simple once the linemen block well. Even simple plays can go for big yards. We'll see what they do here. Second and one, a lot of teams like to take a shot. But they are coming out in the running formation. Bills will be sending some pressure. Burkhead, he's got the first down. Burkhead's second rush of the game, and it converts. Milano with another tackle. So he's got a fumble recovery, a sack, and three tackles. He's having a game so far. Bunch set to the right. Brady under center. Hands it to Burkhead, delayed handoff. And Burkhead's got 11 yards, first down, out to the 30-yard line. And the Patriots are now moving. And he's frustrated. And I know what everyone's saying. Here we go again, right? Four receivers. Brady's going to throw. And he misses his target. Too low and to the right. And that's what Brady does. If he misses him, he misses him low. He doesn't miss him high. When you miss him high, that's how you get a lot of interceptions. Three receivers for Brady. Takes the handoff, and he's got some time in the pocket. He's surveying. He throws deep for the end zone. Cooks. Touchdown. Touchdown, Patriots. And so the Patriots get the ball back, and they score. They do what the Bills could not score off the turnover. One, two, yep. Excellent work by the Patriots offense. And now it's going to be a one-score game as long as Goskowski can hit this. Oh, it will be reviewed, but it should stand at the very least. He's got possession, one. Hmm? He's got two feet right there, I think. His two feet tap, like, just as soon as... We'll see what they say. I mean, Cooks obviously thinks it's a catch. <laughs> and Patriots get to keep the touchdown. And I think it was the right call. There's been a lot of controversy about what's a catch and what's not a catch when the Patriots are around, but I think that one was pretty clear. And it's oh, a touchdown game. 10 to 17, Buffalo leads. We'll see if Buffalo can answer. And Goskowski will kick it away. Kicks away. And Tate 
fakes like he's going to run it out, but then just takes the knee. And the ball's going to come out to the 25. The Bills would have had a, at least a field goal, too, if they didn't fumble on that last possession. And it's got to be hard for Tyrod Taylor not to think about that. We'll see what McDermott calls to boost his confidence. Bounce formation. Receivers right. Three receivers. Taylor. Jones. And Jones has space. Gain of 25. He's out at midfield just like that. And they're going to get even one more snap before the start of the fourth quarter. So Bill's not given up without a fight. Excellent blocking too. That's a play that'll make your quarterback forget about his fumble. And Jones is over 100 yards receiving off only four catches. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Fourth quarter coming up, and we got a ball game. Maybe the best one yet in Mad Madness. We'll see. End of the third, Bills lead 17-10. And we're in for a good finale to this one. Bills are up 17-10, trying to put away the Patriots. Four receiver. Rod. He's taking this in the shotgun. Hands it off to McCoy. McCoy's got space. McCoy's out to the 13. LaShawn McCoy. So the Bills are on the edge of field goal range. Depends on what the weather's doing. And how Hauschka uh, feels. Bills are going to come out with three receivers to the right and a bunch set. Tyrod's going to throw. It's Thompson, and he's got close to another first down. And he's been on fire in this game, throwing at least. Second and inch is coming up, and if they're feeling gutsy, they can... Try and answer right here with the shot at the end zone. Looks like they're coming out in a run formation, trying to just move the chains. That's what they'll do. They'll hit McCoy, who does get across the marker, and he has the first down with a gain of only just about a yard and a half. Looks like Tyrod's going to hand it off here. He fakes the handoff. Tyrod rolls to his right, throws across his body at the end zone. And it's incomplete. He threw it too far. So I thought they should have called a play like that on the second and inches call, not first and ten. But he faked me out, <laughs> which I guess is the first step to a big play, right? running formation for the Bills and there's a pre-snap flag what's this going to be about wow 
So that becomes a second and five, so that previous completion was actually, my, it's basically like having a free five yards. So now they were behind the chains, but now they're right on schedule. Just under five minutes to play as the Bills come out for the second and five. Tyrod throws. He's got Clay. Clay has a first down. First and ten. And the Bills have a chance to put this thing away with a touchdown. I gotta be honest, I did not see this happening. <laughs> But they're not in the end zone yet, I suppose. Two receivers to the right and to the left. Taylor steps back. And he's taken down for a sack. That's his second sack of the night for Lee. And he's got both of Buffalo's sacks in this one. And that couldn't have come at a better time. Now the Bills have to be really careful here not to give the ball away and force a errant throw deep down the field. And they're on the edge of the red zone. Four receivers. Taylor's alone in the backfield. Takes the snap. Throws. It's Thompson who drops it. He had it for a second, but he dropped it on the hit. Incomplete. And that's going to bring up a third and very long. There are two for four thus far on third down conversions. And they're going to try and make it three for five here. As they come out in a running formation, they're going to run it to the left with McCoy. He's walloped for a loss of four. And now Buffalo's going to have to settle for the field goal and try to make it a 10-point game. Because of that series, New England still has a chance to win this one, at least force overtime. Hachka's going to kick the, the field goal. Picks up, and it's good, 20 to 10 Bills. And that few goal might be the thing that wins in this game. But the defense has to put, put together some plays. Now, if I'm New England, you got to be thinking score before the two-minute warning. Score, get them, get the Bills to go three and out, get a field goal, force overtime, win. That's probably the most realistic way. Brady's been here before many times, though. He has 11 career come-from-behind victories in the fourth quarter. See if he can do it again. Brady's going to break huddle. Three receivers. Brady. And too high. Too high for his running back. Incomplete. Second and ten coming up.
Brady. Throws. Hits Amendola over the middle. And that's his first time, the first time we've said his name in this game. It's a third and four coming up now. And they're obviously in four down territory. So if they don't get this, they're going to go again. Oh, clock's going to run down to the two minute warning. That was a mistake. See if the Patriots can overcome this 10 point deficit in the final two after this. All right, we're back. Patriots have scored, Bills have answered. So New England's trying to play the perfect final two to get out of here with a W. Up for Brady. He's going to throw. Brady throws immediately and almost intercepted. He's trying to get it to Gronk again. Trying to repeat that magic from the beginning of the game. And we got a fourth and four coming up, and this is the play of the game. Fourth and four. Can the Bills complete the upset? Brady. He hits Lewis, and it's not over yet. They rush back to the line. Brady's got a balanced formation. Brady's going to throw. Brady hits Lewis, and might as well have just thrown it away there because that's only a one-yard gain. At the cost of probably about 10 seconds, they're going to spike it here, I believe. Oh. Brady might get the neutral zone infraction. He does. And that stops the clock. Perfect. Still second down. Bunch of receivers to the left, one to the right. Brady in the shotgun. He's going to throw. Brady steps back. It's a screen to Lewis. And Lewis, they're going to have to take the time out there. Third and inches coming up. third and inches and New England's in a really big hole here they basically need to score on this play or the next play four receivers Brady takes the snap and he hits Burkhead over the middle it's the first down, but clock's running. They're going to rush back to the line for another quick play. Brady. Oh, nearly intercepted. Just a forced throw. And it looks like he missed his target. Uncharacteristic throw by Brady. Four receivers for Brady. Balance formation. Brady has some time in the pocket. Hits Amendola deep down the field. Gain of 27. And Brady's going to rush up to the line. 
again. Brady, he's gonna throw. Steps up, steps up, steps up. Oh, and he nearly throws another pick. That's twice now the Bills have had a ball right in their hands and they drop it. But it does stop the clock. Let's see what they got. Bounce formation. Wide receiver bunch to the left. Brady. Steps up. Throws on the run. He's got a touchdown. And now it's a one score game. And it was Slater with the catch. So now comes the fun part. Well, we have this kick here that has to be made. And it is 17-20. Patriots need the onside kick, and they need it now. And Goskowski gets ready to kick this one away. And this is the game, folks. Kicks away, and it's immediately picked up by the Bills. And the Bills will upset the Patriots. Patriots will be eliminated from Mad Madness. First round. And there hasn't really been any upsets so far, but this is a massive one. It's thanks to that man right there, Zay Jones. We'll just keep an eye on this to make sure nothing crazy happens. They should just take the knees and get out of here. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to kneel it. Pats will take a timeout. Trying to prepare for press conferences. And we're back. Here was the bracket before, and here's the bracket now. Bills are going to play the winner of the Jets and the Dolphins game, so that's a winnable game for the Bills, no matter who it is, so they can make a run here. going to take the knee. Pats are going to use their final timeout now and just one more knee and that's going to be it. I guess we can take the time now to tell you that the next game is going to be the Jets and the Dolphins. So we're going to get an answer real quick to 
who the Buffalo Bills are going to be playing in the next round. Takes the final knee, and that's going to do it. Bills pull off the upset. They're going to win this game 20 to 17. And they're going to pretend like they're going to punt, but the game's over. They have no need to punt this. And that's it. Pats are eliminated. score 17 to 20 bills and as we are looking at some highlights here I want to take the time to thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed hit the subscribe button to see if the bills can win it all and I think that's it so this is Phantom saying adios